Ahsoka has captivated Star Wars fans with its thrilling episodes, and one element that never fails to impress is the end credit sequence. Accompanied by Kevin Kiner's beautiful score, the sequence features mesmerizing golden lines that appear to form a star map. While this sequence has left viewers intrigued, it has also sparked questions about its significance and what it represents. Thanks to Reddit user Ajnab97, some answers have started to emerge. The end credit sequence in Ahsoka appears to be a star map composed of golden lines, and these lines connect various celestial bodies, including planets, moons, and star systems. These connections offer insights into the locations and journey of the characters in the series, particularly in their quest to find the lost Jedi Ezra Bridger and the Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn. Here are some key details and planets represented in the end credit sequence of Ahsoka. 1. Lothal The sequence starts with Lothal, the homeworld of Ezra Bridger, where the Loth wolves are found. This planet plays a significant role in the series. 2. Arcana The journey begins from Arcana, the stronghold of the Night Sisters of Dathomir, where Ahsoka obtained the map. 3. Irn A new planet called Irn is visited on the journey. 4. Gale, Lothal, and Mandalore these planets, known from Star Wars Rebels, are featured in the sequence. Mandalore is also where most of Season 3 of The Mandalorian takes place. 5. Perlemian Trade Route A hyperspace lane mentioned in The Bad Batch is briefly shown. 6. Agamur, Dathomir, and Yavin These planets, known from Star Wars Rebels, are featured. Dathomir is also the home of the Sisters and was significant in the Clone Wars. Yavin is seen in A New Hope and Rogue One. 7. Corellia, Kato Nimoidia, Duro, and Passana. These planets are introduced, with Corellia being seen in Solo. Kato Nimoidia and Duro have connections to the Separatists in the prequel trilogy, and Passana is from the Rise of Skywalker. The Corellian Run, an important hyperspace lane, is also represented. 8. Coruscant The galactic capital, known from the prequel trilogy and various other Star Wars stories, is featured. 9. Cedos, Auden, and Anak. Cedos is represented with Pergil drawn around it, while Auden and Anak are also introduced. These may reference Norse mythology and locations beyond the known galaxy. 10. Parody. The final destination of the journey, where six other lines converge, likely indicating the location of Ezra and Thrawn. The golden lines in the star map represent various players in the quest to find Ezra and Thrawn including Ahsoka, Sabine Wren, Hira Syndulla, and more. These lines illustrate different possible routes to the final destination of parody. The vertical jumps in the map represent the three-dimensional nature of space travel. While regular maps depict two dimensions, a star map accounts for depth, as space travel involves navigating in three dimensions. The vertical jumps reflect how ships in the Star Wars universe move not only horizontally, but also vertically in space. It also highlights the importance of hyperspace lanes, which are safe routes for traveling through hyperspace. The star map and its connections tie into the broader lore of the Force, hyperspace travel, and the world between worlds, a realm that connects time and space in the Star Wars universe. The Pergil and Loth wolves are beings capable of traversing hyperspace, suggesting that different worlds have connections through the Force, enabling unique travel possibilities. As Ahsoka continues to unfold, Fans eagerly anticipate how these celestial connections will play a role in the character's journey in the search for Ezra and Thrawn. Each episode brings new revelations and adds depth to the Star Wars galaxy, making it an exciting addition to the franchise. Ahsoka releases new episodes on Disney Plus every Tuesday, offering fans a chance to explore the mysteries of the Star Wars universe through its captivating storytelling and visuals. Till I get up